Santam says the operating environment has been tough, characterized by uncertainty resulting from geopolitical tensions caused by the Russia war in Ukraine, largely impacting supply chains. It says inflation has also been a big challenge as the average cost of claims has moved ahead of premium increases. The short-term insurance says the KwaZulu Natal flood and rolling blackouts have led to increased claims. Santam says there's been a significant rise in power search related claims as a result of the power cuts. We have seen an increase in uh, claims that are coming through from, um, from power surge. But I think it's important to put it in perspective that while it is a topical item at this point in time, um, in the 30 billion of claims that we've paid out, whether it's KZN or to our other customers from other perils, you know, the impact of power surge at this stage it really is fractional. And so it is a risk that we largely at Santam believe is insurable. And so we do continue to offer power surge to our clients. We are evidently concerned, similar to everybody in the country, about the systemic losses that could arise from potential grid failure. Um, and so we are working from an underwriting perspective, working with our customers around putting surge protectors um, to really reduce the risk and the impact of power surge claims. Mazinga says the business is cautiously optimistic about the environment in 2023 as the same challenges that they battled last year still prevail. For the year 2023, coming out of a very tough 2022, we're very mindful um, you know, of the inflation challenges, uh, supply chain disruption. We've seen what's happened in the, in the global space. And so you know, we are cautiously optimistic for a better um, 2023. Um, you know, while we do expect, um, you know, our fair share of, of rain and hail across the country, um, we are hopeful that we don't get a convolution of all the factors that we saw in 2022. And so, you know, we are cautiously optimistic about the, the year ahead. The company says it's disappointed with the Financial Action Task Force decision to grey list South Africa, as this will lead to increased scrutiny and disclosures, especially when it deals with reinsurance partners outside the borders of South Africa. Gloria Safakomosi, SABC News, Johannesburg.